above in today's session of visual j forex we will be continuing our work using the indicator ppo the percentage price oscillator we will uh, see how we can design and develop the algorithm for profitable trading using these uh, indicators so let us now head to the visual j forex board where in the prior session the setup was completed this far which includes these uh, instrument subscription the default instrument is euro usd which has been matched with the candle instrument the position amount was defined at zero afterwards these uh, two pto blocks were added and uh, to look at the price action we are also relying on these get historical candles cluster of three candles and this individual uh, get historical candle with uh, varying candle period first one is of hourly and these two are of 10 seconds each now we will uh, be completing the buy side of the equation in today's session so i will give you a brief refresher of when we will be looking to initiate the buy trade when uh, we see that the underlying uh, conditions have become favorable and uh, the probability will be higher for the buy trade to go in profit we are relying on these output values of the ppo block and uh, we will need the last hours ppo output to be more than at least 0.05 compared to the ppo output value with the look back period of three so we will be taking a interval of two hours and we will be comparing this ppo output and if the last hours ppo output is more than 0.05 of the ppo output for uh, the candle with the look back period of three we will uh, initiate the buy trade and uh, when we have the ppo output below zero and whenever we see that now it is starting to rise from the lower side the same thing will need to be repeated and uh, the ppo output should be higher compared to the ppo output three hours back and uh, the difference as i said needs to be more than 0.05 so these are the two instances regardless of whether the output value for the ppo is above zero or below zero only thing we are concerned is with this rise and it should be happening in a short interval and it should have enough of momentum so whenever these conditions are fulfilled that will mean that the underlying momentum is on the bullish side and the price rise is quite swift so it will increase our probability of making money in the underlying instrument this is the usd jpy chart i will change it to euro usd as we are defining the algorithm using the underlying instrument as euro usd okay so now we head back to the visual j forex board here we will have to carry out a couple of calculations for the placing of order and first one is going to be regarding the difference between two If your blocks of the varying candle period We will have to deduct the out 14 from out 10 and its value will need to be more than 0 0.05 a1 minus a2 okay
and this is the result of the calculation which we will name it as pp o 1 p okay now there are two scenarios here for uh, this uh, calculation when the underlying instrument is in bullish trajectory and uh, it has been rising for quite a while the out and out put in values will be above zero but if it is reversing from the lower side then the out 14 and out 10 value might be below zero in such instances we will have the output below zero the output value will be negative so that output value will need to be then multiplied with uh, the uh, minus one to convert it to the positive and then we can use that value so we will have to pay attention to that i will explain to you on the chart suppose here not uh, this case but this case if we consider the last hours output value and uh, that last hour is 14 gmt so here the output value is minus 0 0.06 and if we go back in time by two hours and consider the 12 gmt output value then it is at minus 0 0.09 so here this uh, result will get you the output no i think uh, uh -huh. minus minus will cancel i kind of uh, had forgotten my <laughs> school maths so we don't have to worry about it we will always have the output value in uh, positive only so we don't really have to multiply so pardon me on that count so in both the cases the output value is going to remain in positive and uh, we will uh, take a predefined value of 0 0.05 and we will compare this difference to that and it should be more than that so that is going to be the primary concern okay and uh, we will now need one more calculation expression block to look at the actual difference of the high and low for last three hours so we have to take hld candle high and hld candle low And this is going to be a one minus a two will take uh, this result as C D. okay so whatever is the candle difference we will take 0.33 percent 33 percent not 0.33 33 percent of this difference and multiply uh, not multiply then deduct it from the last big tick price and we will be placing a limit order so i will uh, straight away bring one more calculation expression block We we'll need to have one more new variable, create new variable. EPC 
start value will be 0 0.33 A1 into A2. Okay. And then we will deduct this output of the calculation expression from the last tick tick price. This is going to be A1 minus A2. We have defined our entry point for the pending order. Now What we will do is start adding the logical components if else. And this is pretty simple algorithm. We don't really have to work too hard. We have to simply consider the difference. And this will need to be more than 0 0.05. So first input greater than second input. Then we will shift our focus to the price action. Candle 17, candle close will need to be greater than the candle 17, candle open. First input greater than second input. And after that, whenever price starts to rise above the last hourly close value, we will look to initiate the trade. And for that, we will need to compare candle 18 and candle 19 closing value with candle 17 candle close. So we are going to need two more or two more, one more, two in total. Okay. 
Camel 17, Candle Close. Okay. Candle 18, Candle Close will need to be higher. Whereas candle 19 candle close would have been below the candle 17 candle close. So in this case we will have to join first input greater than second input. Oops. So this is a fairly simple algorithm, not many e blocks required. The only thing we consider is the difference of the PPU output over last 3 hours and if it is within our parameters then we can go for the execution of the train. I will have to bring in trading component multiple action. Here it is. And the trade command block pending open. For this, we are simply relying on by limit price is going to be below the last tick tick price by 33% of the candle high and candle difference of candle high and candle low for last 3 hours default instrument will remain as it is trade amount I will change to 0 0.1 slippage is going to be 2 pips stop loss is going to be 15 pips and take profit of 30 pips Okay, and order validity, go till time, we will have to define this and we will keep it for one hour or if you want to try, you can even go for a half an hour. So for a difference, for a change, this time we will define the half an hourly order validity. So we are going to need one more calculation expression block. We will take last tick tick time and uh, the process of defining the order validity is simple. All you have to do is take last tick tick time and add it to the desired amount of ticks. In one hour, you have 3.6 million ticks. So if you want to complete the calculation in two variables, you will need to add 1.8 million ticks or uh, one more way can be that uh, you simply take two variables, assign 3.6 million value to one of the variables and change another variable, third one, as per your requirement. If you want to make the order validity 2, give it the value of 2. If you want to keep the order validity at half an hour, simply take the start value for that variable at 0 0.5 so you can uh, easily manage that. So we will create new variables, two new variables and it will have the value of 3.6 million. Okay. 
Okay. I will take one more variable. And give it the start value of 0 0.5. So now it is going to be a1 plus a2 into a3. This valid will remain order. Uh, valid. This order will remain valid for half an hour. Okay, now let me join it here. In landing candle close should have been below less. This candle has a by period of two. Here it is candle 19, shift value two, candle 18 is shift value one. So with this we have finished the buy side of the equation. If you were to run these algorithm, you will see that only buy sides trades are being placed. And uh, once we complete the sale side, then it will become symmetric and both buy as well as sell trades can be placed using this algorithm. Thank you all for joining in. Do subscribe to the Deposcopy webinar channel and uh, check out the links provided at the end of the session. If you in a few want to use JForex platform, you can use it for trading and if any query is there regarding how to use it, you can write to me in the feedback section. Thank you all for joining in. See you next time. Till then, goodbye.